Welcome back. Today we are going to be looking at how to make interlocking three-dimensional shapes like this one using the laser cutter. So, you can kind of see as I take this apart. Ooh, the other way there. Ooh, that one's a little stuck right now. That, there it goes. They just slide together like so. And you can start getting crazy, making like little chess pieces like so, and you can really go crazy with this. Um, but, let's make it small. All right. You can see it's just the size of this gap here, this notch, is going to be really important. Um, here is our chess pieces. You can see they're going to notch together there. So, let's jump right in here. We're going to start simple with just some basic shapes. So let's go to top view, and we'll flip to... Uh, the flat view there as well, so we have a nice starting spot. We're going to ch uh, choose any nice start starting spot, like maybe a star, maybe a heart. You know, I like the heart today. I'm going to make a heart one. So let's start. I want the heart. You know, I want it to be... I like that right there. That looks pretty good. So the next thing, since we're doing something simple like a heart, is to make the notch that's going to go in the top of the heart here. So we need to find a piece of our material and find out how thick it is. So we have these calipers here that are digital. So you roll this little thing and it tells you how thick the, the spacing is. So when you put it on your material, you can see how thick it is there. Be aware that you can put that in inches or in millimeters. So you have to have that appropriately set on your calipers and match that up with what's on your screen. You can change that here or you can change that on the calipers. So I'm going to stick with millimeters for now. And I'm going to make up a number because I want you guys to actually go measure this. And I'm going to say five. Yours is not five millimeters thick. The material you're using is not five millimeters thick. Again, I'm going to say that again and again here. All right. And I'm lining that up here. That looks pretty centered, but you know, I probably want to actually center it here using my align tool. Make that look nice. All right. Now I'm just going to copy that. I'm going to paste that. And now I'm going to make a second one of these copying this notch again. I'm going to zoom in here and look at this real close here. What I'm trying to do is make the bottom notch line up exactly with the top notch there. So up and down wise, that's lined up, but not quite lined up left to right. So I'll align that again. Let's align all of those so they're nice and centered. Zoom out there, zoom out. There we go, here we go, here we go. All right. Now that we are all aligned there, we can see that the bottom notch is going to be lined up like perfect there. And then we just like so. We group this one, ba doop. And we group this one, ba doop. And look at that. You got your interlocking two pieces that are going to slide together like so. So this is just the start of it. You can start with a nice simple shape, and we can build three dimensional cool things like chessboard pieces or the sky's the limit on this, taking two-dimensional pieces and making them interlock so that you can make something that is three-dimensional. Enjoy, have fun, get to cutting on that laser.